down your reel, think about what will impress your audience and what they want to see. Once you have your audience in mind and you know what you want to tell them, it's time to put together your reel. What type of reel you assemble depends on who you are and what you want to tell your audience. A cinematographer's reel will be different from an editor's reel just as a colorist reel will be different from a motion graphic designer's reel. You might end up having multiple reels to showcase different talents. That's okay. One thing to note is the use of audio in a demo reel. Reels are often cut to a music bed that sets the pace and says something about its producer's talent and personality. For most video professionals, this works out well, but editors may want to consider using the audio from their source sequences because it's an inherent part of their storytelling process. When it's time to edit your reel, collect footage that highlights what you're trying to show your audience and sells you as a professional video talent. The reel should start off with a hook. Your audience is always going to see your opening shot, but there's no guarantee they'll watch the entire reel. With that in mind, you want the opening shot to convince them that what follows is going to be worth their time. After the tone of the reel is established with the first couple of shots, it's time to tell a story. This is your professional story. Make sure each shot flows naturally to the next, building upon what was previously done. Be careful not to be redundant. Once you've shown the audience enough evidence of one particular talent or skill set, move on to the next. By the middle of your reel, you want your audience to know that you are a master of your craft and that you consistently deliver high quality work. The end of your reel is the big payoff, so finish strong. This is where your audience will form their final opinion of your work. Use your last clip to send them out with a bang. You want them to be in awe. As the old adage goes, always leave them wanting more. One of the best ways to do this is to limit the size of your reel. There's no need to put a clip from everything you've ever worked on in there. Keep the total time of the reel under two minutes. You can always show the client more work upon request. What doesn't go into a reel is just as important as what does. There shouldn't be anything in a reel that takes away from a viewer's impression of you. Only use your best. If something is lacking, don't put it in. Also, a demo reel is an exhibit of your work. Don't claim someone else's work as your own. If you're making a cinematography reel, don't put in work that was shot by someone else. Likewise, don't put in pieces that are stock content, made with presets, a completed tutorial, or a derivative of such a piece. If called out, it will push a client away faster than mediocre quality work. Remember, context is king. Don't put in any clips that when viewed out of context are mediocre or subpar. There are a lot of great shots and sequences that work because of the original video they're in. But when removed from that original edit and juxtaposed in a demo reel, the clip loses its polish and becomes humdrum. Always consider the context of every shot and edit in your reel. When it comes to making a demo reel, you're selling your ability to make a great video. You are the product. Be critical of yourself and think objectively about how you can win over your clients. Make sure to get your reel some exposure. A reel won't do you any good if it's sitting in your timeline or by itself on a web page. Invite people to watch your reel and put it in front of your audience. Don't be afraid to reach out. If you've done the hard work, you'll leave your audience in awe of a reel that sizzles. Continued learning and practice, as well as taking refreshers on the basics, will help keep your skills sharp. Check out our video courses to stay on top of your game. Find a course by visiting videomaker.com courses or click the link in the description.